Buddy Farah, we're very happy to have you here tonight as uh, director, co-founder of White Shield Partners, and uh, we're here to talk about the launch of the Global Labor Resilience Index today in Davos on the 1st of January. And I have a first question for you, which is, what is the, the background and the origin of this uh, study? Why is White Shield Partners focusing on the topic of labor resilience and comparing 145 countries around the world? Thank you. I think to, to address this question, one has to go back to the foundation of White Shell Partners. We as a firm were set up on the campus of Harvard University on the basis of rethinking public policies, how to innovate the public policies, and how to have a wider ecosystem on solving issues that governments have to address. And for this, one of the key topics is labor and employment. But this is the type of issue that cannot be solved at the level it was created. It's a much wider issue. We have to connect many dimensions, many stakeholders, the private sector, the public sector, civil society, but also different policy dimensions, from technology to innovation to environment. And that's the type of work we do, which is whole of government work. Even wider than this, we do whole of country work. The GLRI fits within this type of work, supporting governments to enable higher employment, not just talking labor, but the wider economic policies and policies of the country. Very clear, very clear. And so um, the, the report uh, itself uh, focused on the geography of jobs uh, this year. It has a ranking of 145 countries. What would you say are the two or three main insights that you draw from it and, and implications for policy making? There are two factors. There's one factor of convergence, where we see countries that have a stronger social cohesion and stronger work at the local level tend to have a labor resilience which is stronger. And we see factors of divergence, where the types of approaches between the US or UK or Singapore or Finland could be completely different. But there's one common theme, and that we as practitioners we will give uh, specifically six recommendations on how to act to improve the resilience of labor. The first one is to profile citizens at the local level. That means profiling their job requirements, what are their needs, what are their wants at the local level. The second part is to think about a new deal. So what are the different stakeholders and what will be a win-win solution between those stakeholders? It could be entrepreneurs, it could be universities, it could be government, uh, it could be the job seeker, it could be any local stakeholder. The third part is to think about how to connect those different elements. For example, the use guarantee program that was set up in the EU is a typical way to connect the different elements into a win-win solution that can be implemented. But that is not enough. It needs a fourth aspect, which is to accelerate it. And this acceleration can be done at the regional or city level. Some Good practices are city accelerators where different stakeholders get together and solve solutions over, for example, 100 days. And to conclude, you have to sustain the efforts. And that means it's a continuous effort at the local level. The main point is that government has to think decentralizations in many cases and acting much more at the local level. Thank you. Thank you.